coached the 2012 United States Olympics gymnastics team killed himself Thursday. John Getter taking his life just hours after being charged with 24 felonies related to his behavior while coaching. Those charges range from human trafficking to sexual assault. The alleged offenses occurred between 2008 and 2018. Getter coached the gold medal winning women's team known as the Fierce Five during the London Games. But three years ago, he was suspended by USA Gymnastics. The Michigan Attorney General's Office saying Thursday, Getter fostered an environment of continued abuse in which he also neglected advice of medical doctors, except that provided by Larry Nasser, who worked with Getter for nearly 20 years. Nasser in prison for up to 175 years. Nasser would never get out. And yeah, he belongs in prison for the rest of his life. Getter charged with 20 counts of human trafficking and forced labor, one count of racketeering, one count of lying to a police officer, and two counts of sexual assault. Sarah Klein, who was coached by Getter and is one of the earliest known survivors of Nasser's sexual abuse, had this to say about Getter. He tortured and abused little girls, myself included, for more than 30 years and was able to cheat justice. Getter was a narcissistic abuser. His suicide is an admission of guilt that the entire world can now see. The Michigan Attorney General's office also saying, and I'm quoting, what needs to be reported is that these charges against Mr. Getter are for his actions and his actions alone. They have very little to do with Mr. Nasser. Counts one through 20 that relate to human trafficking are for his behavior in the gym related to his coaching. The fact that he took his own life means that he, he knew he was guilty from the word go. I'm not sure with his all those uh, felonies he's facing, he's probably facing 150 years in prison.